I think it's deciding if it should come down or not. It's here, it's here. Sorry if I look a little bit tired, but it, I am. I haven't slept properly tonight because I was so exciting for today. I'm going to try to photograph the birds of prey again. It's a bit early in the season, so I'm not sure if there's gonna be any bird, but the thought of it is so exciting. Ooh. I hope, I hope the buzzard would come today. That would be nice. Okay, I, I hadn't had time to have breakfast, so it's time now to eat something and wait for the bird to come. So I talk to you later. There's a rough-legged buzzard. It's sitting on it, and it's right on top of a tree. I think it's deciding if it should come down or not. Oh, this is exciting! First, the bird of prey. Then I see now this season there. is now down 11 12 meters from me feeding <laughs> yes the first bird the first bird this is this season there <laughs> this is so cool I can see another buzzard in the tree I think it's a common buzzard but I'm not sure. I need to see if I can take some pictures. It's just starting to eat and then it's more calm.
both of the buzzard has flew away, but I can hear, I think it's the rough-legged buzzard calling nearby, so there are birds still in the area. I cannot see any birds right now, so maybe time to eat some more. And uh, yeah, wait and see what's happening. This is really, really good. Look what I have, look what I have. This is a really Norwegian snack. It's a chocolate. We are all taking this chocolate here when we are up on the mountain skiing. It's a typical Norwegian. So this is really good to have the D4S now because it's heavy overcast and I'm around 2500 to 3200 ISO and uh, yeah, I would be much more afraid to use that on the D500. So so good to have the D4S and the ISO ability that that gives. So but I know I'm using also the 500 F4. So it seems like it was a perfect distance for, for um, placing the height to have portraits. But uh, if I want w more of the wings inside, it's a little bit too close though. But it's the first time now this season here. So it's one of many times that I can, yeah, hopefully get more good, good days in this hide here. The birds of prey, they are really, really skittish. And uh, they are so aware of the environment and changes. So uh, you need to have a, a fixed hide or a tent. The best is a fixed hide though and uh, then put out roadkill uh, so and also uh, you need to go into the blind and be ready before the sunrise uh, you need to go into the dark because uh, if a bird of prey will see you and it definitely will if it's sitting in the area even you, even if you don't see it uh, it could be far away and they have so good eyesight so they can spot you uh, without any problem and uh, if they do that it's possible for the bird will not come down at all so go into the hide in the dark so i think it, this is really important if you are going to do this yourself now actually the clouds are starting to break up it would be so nice to get a bird down now but I haven't seen a bird in a while. But you never know, suddenly they can show up. There it's here, it's here, it's here.
So if you are new here, I hope you consider subscribing if you want to see more of this. And hit that bell button and you will get notification every time I upload a new video. And also, go and check out uh, uh, a friend of mine has started to vlog. His name is uh, uh, Daniel and check out his uh, channel. You can I'll leave a link in the description below. But go and check out his channel. I'm really looking forward to see what he is going to share in the future as well. So give him some love and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.